breaking news alert. And that local breaking news alert is coming from Yuli, a Nassau County Sheriff's deputy has died in a traffic accident. Right now, we are still waiting for a briefing from uh, Sheriff Bill Leeper. Crash happened around 7.30 this morning, right there at State Road 200 and Chester Road. Very, very busy section of Yulee, in fact, right there by the Walmart. Channel 4 is Melanie Lawson joining us now live again from the scene. Mel, I know that you're some distance from there. Can you give us an idea of how busy this intersection is? Okay, so there are a lot of businesses where we are. In fact, we're in the Target parking lot just a short ways from where this incident happened. Um, it's a lot of businesses, Jen and um, Nikki. In fact, they're having to divert traffic and it's really, really backed up. Um, for people who are headed west and then have to take that detour. And then also people who are going eastbound, they seem to be moving around fine. But again, you know, they're looking to see what's going on. There's also a Nassau County helicopter up in the air and just talked to the sergeant on scene. And he said most likely either taking some pictures possibly of the scene and also monitoring that traffic. Because at this point, they don't have a whole lot of options as far as sending people around. You know, people want to talk to the officers and, and, and see what the detours are. Are. Um, so that's kind of helping them as part of this process, um, trying to direct traffic in this area. Right now, though, we are waiting on Sheriff Bill Leeper. You guys talked about him earlier. We all know him very well. We know that he is a man that loves this county, and he loves the officers and the deputies who patrol this area. So he is right now trying to talk with the family of the victim here and whatever happened. Um, you know, you mentioned the tweet that already has come out from Nassau County Sheriff's Department, and they said that, you know, we've lost one of our own in a traffic accident telling people to drive carefully. I mean, this is such a busy time. People are thinking about Thanksgiving. We've had a lot of tragedy on the news today, and it's just so unfortunate that people have to lose anyone any time of the year, but especially right now where they're thinking about gathering with family and friends. Um, so we do know that this happened early this morning, about 7, 730. Um, we don't know if there were other vehicles involved or even if this deputy was in a vehicle. We're hearing some things from the scene. I know, Nikki, you have a source that you've been talking to as well that's saying some things, but we do want to be respectful and kind of get that official word before we put this information out there. So we are waiting for the sheriff to come on scene and talk to us about what happened. And then we also have the sergeant on scene who, who is also waiting to get information. You know, everyone's being tight-lipped as they work this. Um, so we're live here waiting for that information as soon as we get it we'll break in um, we'll also have it on newsforjacks.com um, but back here live I, I don't know if you guys have any questions or, or what you're saying or, yeah. or anything that you want a, a little more from me I, I do you know I know you're just saying that, that you you couldn't see a patrol car from where you are right now because of course we're hearing that this could have been a couple of different situations that led up to this but one thing Jen and I noticed mm -hmm. is, is where the um, the yellow tape is located it doesn't look like it's located right at the intersection from what we can see like maybe it's just in in the middle of the road is that are you able to see yeah. it from where you are? Yeah. Well, you're right. You know what I did when I drove down? I kind of did the loop because I didn't just want to turn in this parking lot because I wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, so, yes, Nikki, you're right. It, that, that intersection is... I'm really bad with, you know, maybe 400, 800 yards from where most of the people are. Again, from what I'm understanding is um, maybe even the deputy who passed away this morning isn't here anymore and he might have been transported off. Um, so there is a wide, a wide um, distance that's just got a ton of police officers. But no, it wasn't right at the intersection. It's actually kind of just right off 200 where all these businesses are from what we can tell. All right, Melanie Lawson, thank you, Melanie. I know she's going to stay there on the scene, certainly as we await Sheriff Bill Leeper. In the meantime, I-Team's uh, investigator, Lindsay Gardner, has also been gathering information. Yeah, and I know um, Lindsay is joining us from the newsroom. Lindsay, you were looking at information uh, about the number of deputies um, that they have lost in Nassau County. The last one was right before Christmas, but it was 24 years ago. Yeah, they haven't even lost uh, anyone within their department uh, in this century, Nikki and Jen. I've actually been texting this morning with Sheriff Leeper, offering my condolences to him. He is writing back, but, you know, this is the first time Sheriff Leeper has lost a deputy since he's been the head of the Nassau County Sheriff's Office taking over in 2013. So anyone living in Nassau County knows this is such a tight knit community. So it's already this a small tight knit community. So imagine how much smaller and how much more tight knit that Sheriff's Office is. I know there's about 115 to 130 sworn law enforcement officers. So yes, they're all working different shifts, but they know each other. So imagine what it must have been like for this deputy's co-workers to be the ones to have to respond 
to this deadly accident this morning. They are the ones out there right now behind Melanie having to process and work this scene, likely do, working the investigation in the death of one of their friends and comrades. So it's a very, very tragic scene out there in Yulee this morning. Nassau County is a sheriff's office that is recognized statewide for their safety initiatives. You know, Sheriff Leeper came from the Florida Highway Patrol where he was a lieutenant. He used to be a public information officer, so we all got to know him there before he took over as the sheriff for Nassau County. So he's very much in tune with uh, addressing the media and this is why he's making this decision this morning to hold off a little bit uh, in order out of respect for this family that has had such a tragic loss here at the holidays before we're able to get more information about how this accident unfolded. But I did want to get you some more information about the sheriff's office overall. So again, as I mentioned, 115 to 130 sworn officers, but they have about 240 total staff. So that's some of your administrative staff, some of your jailers, so it's a bit of a, a larger department than the sworn officers, but again, still pretty small when you compare it to other larger counties nearby. Uh, uh, since Bill Leeper took over in 2013, and obviously coming from the Florida Highway Patrol, so traffic is top of mind here for him, they were able to actually be selected by the Florida Department of Transportation's Law Enforcement Liaison Program. They were recognized in 2015 as the top traffic safety program in the state. So that was the first time that ever happened for Nassau County. So they are recognized for their traffic safety measures for their law enforcement officers. Uh, so we don't know if this was a traffic accident or if possibly this uh, deputy was responding to a crime. We can tell you since Leeper took over, crime has gone down in Nassau Nassau County 29 percent since 2013. So we're taking a look at their sheriff's office page right now and this is their patrol page. Again, we're not exactly sure this morning if this officer was a patrol officer. Now, many might make that assumption considering it was between 7 and 7.30 this morning. Uh, the officer likely could have been out patrolling and something happened. That is something we will learn later uh, from Sheriff Leeper at his news conference. What we can tell you, as you all mentioned, they have not lost a law enforcement officer there in Nassau County since 1994. So this is the first person in 24 years. They've only ever lost five law enforcement officers, two of them from the 1800s, only three uh, and, and, and from like 1900 uh, to 2000, and then of course none so far until this morning, so tragically there in Yulee. But of course our condolences go out to that entire small department and our thoughts and prayers not only with that deputy's family here this morning, but also his uh, brothers and sisters in blue that are out there having to process that scene and hopefully get answers for this deputy's family. Guys.